is uh, President Trump now. We're going to check in with him on our election coverage, and then uh, and hopefully. Uh, good morning, just Howard. Good morning, good morning, Mr. President. You are excited, it sounds like. I'm very, very excited. What an incredible night. Everything went so much better than I expected. All of my rallies paid off, which is which is great because I usually stiff those cities. Uh, but the voter turnout was incredible, especially in states where we made it really tough to vote. And, you know, we got states we weren't <laughs> supposed to get. We got, like, East Dakota, West Dakota. No one was expecting that. East you know, Dakota. It doesn't, yes, <laughs> Tremendous states, they're very liberal states that went for me. And it doesn't right. matter what I say or what I do or whose career I destroy or where I put my enormous dick right. or how many super spreader events I have. They eat it up. They eat it up. People will vote for me. You know, how right. it's incredible. I got to tell you, Mr. President, it was a lot closer than I thought. But uh, you can't declare victory yet. I mean, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of votes to be counted, as John Hine was just point, pointing out. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, Howard. Uh, no, no, yes. no, no, no. I have won. It's the fake news. It's the fake news. You know, Sleepy Joe, you know, Biden, sadly, has divided this country right down the middle, you know, with his leftist, liberal, socialist, Marxist, radical, sleepy policies. And if he had not run against me, I would have gotten 100% of the vote, just like Putin or Kim Jong-un or Xi Jinping. But instead, he's selfish. He's selfish. Well, right you person did. only thinks of himself. You know, you, it's sad. It's really, really sad. You know what shocked me? You did very well with Latinos. I did incredible with Latinos. Can you believe it? I did really, really well with Latinos. And it's really crazy when you think about it. Like, like, do you know who you're voting Yeah, for? what do you have to call <laughs> those people to make them not vote for you? I know, <laughs> they're, they're just like, they're like, a, they're like an abused wife. They really are. They're incredible like that. Right. Yeah. Truly, it's truly it's incredible really people. Shocking. Well, now, now, yes. uh, uh, well, I'll say this, uh, no matter who wins, you did better than all the polls uh, said, and uh, is there anyone you'd like to thank? Well, you know, Howard, there's so many people, and I did really, really incredible, but first I have to start with someone who's just been giving 150% this entire time. I'd like to thank me. Um, I also <laughs> want to thank my big Bahrain. It's really incredible. You know, a few years ago, I thought about being president, and now look at the world. It's terrific. It's terrific. And you believe you've been a good president. I think you should say that. Absolutely. Are you kidding? So much winning. So much winning. Nine million people have the virus. We're sick of winning, literally. And, you know, you know, we only have 4% of the population, but we have 20% of all COVID death. Is that an incredible statistic? I mean, that percentage is amazing. And we were that's, very, a, very win, huh? that's, that's a win, huh? That's a win. Well, but we're, I, we're but honestly... Yeah. But I, I have to be honest, I'm sick of COVID, 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 okay? Today, it's all about me. It's all about me and the tremendous job I want to do. So I want to thank the people that got me here. I want to thank Regeneron. I want to thank Adderall. I, I want to thank uh, Adderall. Dr. Sloan. Adderall. Uh, what do you think keep me so awake? That and Skittles. I feel fantastic. <laughs> the Randesivir people, they're great. The experimental treatment, 184B, great stuff. They just shoot it right in my ass, and I'm wide awake for days. And and of course, Diet Coke, which is practically my closest friend, always travels right. with you me. Want to thank so Diet many Coke. great groups. Absolutely. Yeah. And I want to thank the Proud Boys. I want to thank the Proud Boys who are still standing by. They're still standing by. They're great guys, big burly guys, big burly guys with beards. Uh, beards. And I yeah. love that. And, of course, QAnon. QAnon's great. I still don't know what they do. I mean, people try to tell me, but I'm like, la, 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 la. But uh, they like me. They like me, so I like them right back. Uh, I want to thank those wonderful, wonderful Trump drivers in San Antonio who almost ran the Biden bus off the road. So brave, so brave. Better luck next time, folks. Uh, and, of course, how can I not thank the incredible Ruth Peter Ginsburg for dying, for dying. It was a real fun twist right there at the end of the season. No one saw it coming, even though she was like the oldest thing on earth. Uh, I want to thank Crooked Hillary's emails for somehow showing up on Hunter Biden's computer. Is that amazing? Didn't see that coming. That was really incredible. Yeah. I want to thank Rudy for him outsmarting that Sasha Baron Cohen. All Borat got on him was that he loves hot Bulgarian pussy. And if that's illegal, lock me up. Lock me up. Right. And I gotta, so many... I gotta thank Sleepy Joe, too. I gotta thank yes. him. You know what I mean? He's yeah. sleepy, he's creepy, and he's probably in his basement playing with his pee-pee. Uh, who else do you want to thank? I mean, as long as you're at it. 
Well, I, you know, there's so many, that one black guy who always showed up at my rallies, didn't matter what state, what time of day, he was just right behind me, and I thought that was great. And Howard, I have to thank you. I have to take a moment to thank you, because I want to say specifically to Debbie the Cum Lady, I just want to thank her. We did so good with Suburban Cum Ladies, and Sleepy Joe knows it. I mean, who wants Sleepy Cum? I mean, honestly, right. who wants Sleepy Cum? They're supposed to be swimmers. They're supposed to be swimmers, and mine All swim. Right. He well, it sounds like you're, 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 well, this is unlike you. You're really thanking a lot of people, uh, Debbie. Oh, you know what? First just, and foremost, himself, you know. Yeah. Of course, of course, my big <laughs> Bahrain. But the important thing is I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood. We're going to win. We're going to win. I want to thank Mexico for building the wall around the White House. It just got 10 feet higher. Next week, we're putting in a moat so the Trump voters can kind of just go around in a circle every day. It's incredible. Oh, oh, and I almost forgot. Some of the, somebody who really, really helped me, the one wonderful rioters and looters. Without them, people would have focused on this global pandemic, but instead they looked over my comical mismanagement of this entire mess. Right. You love the looters. Love the looters. Love the looters. Love the fire. It's a great distraction. I want to thank all those tremendous traffic jam people from over the weekend, my Trump people who did the traffic jams. I love traffic jams. And you know what? They created Listen, a traffic you, jam. I, you thanked everyone, Mr. President. I, I can't imagine there's anybody left to thank. Well, I wanna, you know what? I even want to thank Herman Cain. You know, he died, but he still kept tweeting about me. How great I am. Was that incredible? <laughs> and he Herman didn't Cain. switch sides. He didn't switch sides at the first sign of COVID like some fat fuck Chris Christie. Chris Christie's the only guy I know who had COVID for a week and didn't lose weight. He didn't lose a pound. I think he actually gained weight. How's that possible? So you're thanking Herman Cain, who died, and still tweets for you, and you, you right. thank uh, you thank the rioters, the looters. Uh, geez, I guess that's everyone, huh? I want to thank Bobo for voting for me, smartest Trump voter, hands down, certificates in the mail. And right. finally, Howard, if I could, I just want to thank America. Just imagine if the radical loony dems had won, you'd all be stuck with universal health care, more stimulus money, clean air, clean water, a decent minimum wage, legal weed, and a planet that isn't fucked up and underwater. What a <laughs> socialist nightmare that would have been. Right. Well, Mr. President, in all fairness, uh, you, you're declaring victory, but you didn't win yes. yet. And, uh, you know, it's a oh, very good... On, uh, come on. John Hines says... Uh, you keep saying stop counting the votes. That's not stop, very exactly American. Stop thing. counting. Stop <laughs> counting. It's too much count. It's over. It's over. Right, we right. don't have Let's to count. On. You know, well, that's the problem. We're they America. Counting, they, they keep counting the, Every, the uh, ballots. We get to choose who we want for president. They should vote. They have to count. Me. Very happy, and I'm so all excited. Right. I'm going to do such a tremendous job for all the people who voted for me. Come on. Yeah. No one expected this. Come on. They thought it was going to be a shutout. I am so closer than they expected. I mean, look at these states. Florida. No one expected me to win Florida. Texas. No one expected me to win Texas. I am like 200,000, 300,000 votes. So stop counting. Stop counting. All right. <laughs> I, I know. I, I read your quote. You said counting is for nerds. Is that correct? <laughs> counting is for nerds and losers. Right. and pencil neck geeks. No one likes to count. Who are the guys in accounting class? You know, the guys with the beanies. You just wanted to beat the crap out of them. I don't, I don't right. want that. We have yeah. to stop counting. We well, have you know, to Mr. Stop President, counting. after this speech, I have to say, who would have won four more years of this? So thank you. And, Absolutely. Uh, we'll it's going to be well, tremendous. The next four, right. eight, ten, we're going to have a tremendous Trump dynasty. Ivanka's next. Don't you want her as president? Is she a knockout? Is she a knockout? We're going to make her the first lady. <laughs> yeah, president. just vote for her because she's pretty. So right. pretty. So pretty. That's so important. You know, I'm imagining, pretty, you know, because attractive women can't get COVID. Did you know that? Did you know that? I, I'm, I'm imagining a lot of lovemaking with Melania today just to, you know, celebrate. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Hopefully with her double. Right. Right. That would be awesome. All right. Thank you, Mr. President. There you have it. Uh, President Trump, who says thank you to almost everyone, including the fly on Mike Pence. Taking a victory lap even before right. a victory is declared.